Um, I told my coaches after the game, I told the whole team, but I would much rather have this kind of a game than winning by 20 any day of the week. And they, you know, I don't know that a lot of people agree with me, but I love when they come back. I love that they have that grit, that toughness. They just showed a lot of, a lot of team, a lot of fight, and they fought for each other, and so I was super proud of them. Um, first time. Or the yeah, first time this season I've had five players in double figures, and it just goes to show that I got a group that will share the ball. I got a group that will um, move, like play for each other, and that's what I was most proud I about tonight. Too. And everybody scored. They got in the game. Questions? Amari, what changed in that fourth quarter during that massive run? Where you guys went to the press, you locked them down. I think it was like 20 to 2 or something like that. What, what kind of change in those moments just defensively, obviously? You know? um, I was turning the ball over a lot. <laughs> so I just knew that I, like, one, had to get it back. And I, like, control what you can control, right? So next play mentality, um, just picked up on defense, did what I could have uh, tell my team on that end. but. Um, I think all of us were just in the fight. We wanted it bad, so we picked it up on defense. I mean, you only had four steals, but I feel like every time you were coming down the court, you were just stealing the ball from I don't know, maybe I need to go back and look at the stats. I'm just kidding. Um, it just, why every time are you just able to, you know, just, I guess speak to the level, just um, your conditioning and just being able to do that. because. In basketball, you know, going 94 feet to a lot, but you're able to do that time in, time out, play after play, and it just affects the defense. Um, well, my conditioning is not great right now. Obviously, you can tell I'm sick. So, I mean, it was kind of a struggle. But I don't know. Like Coach always says, like, defense is really just heart. And so I feel like um, when the girl was picking up, I just, you know, kind of got, like, a little, like, feisty and just put my head down. I was like, all right, let's get, let's get one, you know. Um, I don't know. I'm just trying to help my team win, and so I feel like that's something that I'm pretty effective at. Um, so, yeah. Coach, how clutch was Kaylee Smiler down the stretch? She hits a couple of those threes, and I thought she was really good, good in particular from the free throw line to help you guys kind of close it out. I um, I thought our third one, that one in the corner, I thought that was a 3-2. But like I told them at halftime, we weren't shooting the ball great the first half. But I told them, keep shooting, keep shooting, keep shooting, right? And I told her, I don't think she had a shot at halftime. And I said, if you have any breathing room, please shoot. Because for her, she's a knockdown shooter. And so she's like, OK, OK, OK. And keep in mind, she left the game to get staples yes. in her head. Yeah. No numbing, no anything, came right back in. And that if that doesn't show toughness and grit, I don't know what it does. But she just wanted to be out there with her girls and so that's for her is it just speaks to her character speaks to her toughness and she was big for us this and I feel like that's her highest stat Game. line is it yeah, yeah. highest yeah. Sure. and her whole family's in town from New Zealand so that was, oh, that she was big oh, she's she's motivated. Motivated. She's motivated. Yeah, she was ready <laughs> it was the only game they've gotten to see her play in person in her college career oh, wow. Wow. She she definitely definitely that. yeah that's great you touched on it a little bit, Coach, but, but what do you hope this kind of a game teaches these girls as you wind down non-conference play and head into, uh, I think the word that you used last week was a conference, a big call play. What do you hope this kind of game teaches them? Um, never say die. Never quit. Like, that's, that's one thing. You're, I mean, we went on a 16-0 run. And we were down 13. And so if that doesn't show what can, what can happen on defense, because I told the girls, like, we can't outscore them right now when we got down. We have to get stops. And so you get a stop, you score. You get a stop, you score. And I just kept saying, it's a long game. It's a long game. I promise you, you'll be in this. And so I, I just love that they actually came together, pulled it out. But they had that experience to be able to pull it through. Because that builds a lot of memories. It builds a lot of camaraderie. It builds a lot on the court, off the court, and just playing and fighting for each other. Coach, was it finally satisfying to get the run that you guys had? Because the first first half coming, timeout. Second half it comes, timeout. And then finally the breakthrough in the fourth quarter. Was it finally satisfying? Like, all right, finally we're here. Yeah, and I could see they were tired. And my coaches said, don't take a timeout. Like, I just, because I, I could see they were tired, but I was like, you know what, we're at momentum. You feel it. You feel it in the game. And so they just kept in, kept in their grill and just kept coming at them, coming at them. So I was happy for them. Any more questions? Thank you guys.